Hi, and welcome to Hosting Your Academy. My name is Victoria, and in today's video, we will explore the step-by-step -step guide on becoming a freelance web developer. Being a freelance web developer is more than just learning how to code. Gaining relevant skills and experience, setting up your business properly, and understanding your legal obligations are some of the key elements you need to consider. Building an attractive portfolio is also crucial to effectively market your services to prospective clients. If you are interested in this career path, this video will guide you through the process of setting your foot to become a freelance web developer. Let's get straight to the first step. Web development is a diverse field with many specific roles. Identifying which one you want to focus on as early as possible is crucial to increase your chances of success. The first option is to become a front-end developer. This role allows you to work on website elements that users interact with directly. These include animations, buttons, and anything that involves user experience. Or you can become a back-end developer handling server-side development, databases, and application logic. Basically, most of the hidden components that make a site function properly. Then there's also a full-stack developer who can handle both front-end and back-end tasks. Each path requires different skills and tools, so choose the one that best suits your interests and abilities. Remember, Specializing in a particular area can help you stand out in the competitive freelancing marketplace. It allows you to develop a rich professional portfolio, leading to better job opportunities and higher pay. Once you have chosen a career path, the next step is to learn the skills needed to become an expert in that field. If you are decided on front-end development, learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript languages. In addition, knowledge of frameworks like AngularJS or libraries like React can be a major plus. On the other hand, if back-end development is your focus, familiarize yourself with server-side languages like PHP, Java, or Python. Knowledge of databases like MySQL or MongoDB and server environments such as Node.js will also be critical. For full-stack developers, a mix of both front-end and back-end skills is required. But remember, you don't have to be an expert in everything. It's about having a broad understanding of the overall process and the ability to work across different layers of web development. But skills aren't just about coding is a freelancer, you are also considered a business owner. Skills like communication, time management, and project management are essential. These can help you manage clients, meet deadlines, and keep your projects on track. Building these skills takes time, but with enough practice, you'll soon be ready to take on freelance web development projects. Before becoming a freelancer, you can start by applying for internships or junior developer positions. Working with a team can help you better understand how the industry works and how projects are managed. This valuable experience will be useful once you launch your freelancing business. Alternatively, you can contribute to open source projects. This allows you to apply your skills, solve real-world problems, and showcase your abilities to potential clients. Participating in coding challenges or hackathons can also be an excellent idea. These events are a fun way to test your skills and chance to network with other developers and industry professionals. Keep in mind that every project, whether you are being paid or not, is an opportunity to learn and grow as a web developer. The goal is to build a strong foundation of knowledge and experience that you can leverage when stepping into freelance world. Once you've gained all the necessary skills and experience, it's time to set up your freelancing business. Start by creating a solid business plan. Think about your services, target clients, pricing structure, and marketing strategies. It might seem like a lot to think about initially, but having a plan is crucial for your success. Depending on where you live, you may need to register your business with the appropriate government agency. This usually involves choosing a business name and applying for a tax ID number. Moreover, you should look into the types of insurance you might need. 
For instance, liability insurance can protect you if a client sues over a mistake or omission in your work. As a freelance web developer, it's also important to understand contracts. A good contract should clearly state the work scope, deadlines, payments, and termination terms. Make sure to conduct thorough research or seek legal advice to ensure you meet all legal requirements in your country or state. At this point, it pays to create a professional website to showcase your portfolio and attract potential clients. But before making a website, you need a hosting plan and a domain name. Hostinger offers plenty of developer-made tools and dedicated control panel for web professionals. To sign up, visit hostinger.com pro and choose Cloud Startup. Select the 48-month plan to get the best deal. Use the coupon code PRO10 to get an additional 10% discount. You can find the link in the description below. After completing the payment, you can start building a portfolio website using WordPress. From each panel, head to Websites and click Create or Migrate a Website. Select Portfolio as your website type and choose Create a new website. Pick WordPress as your platform, create login details for your WordPress account and connect your desired domain name. Once you gain access to the WordPress dashboard, add the following pages. The first one is the homepage. Explain who you are, your services, and what value you can bring to your customers' projects. Also include strong calls to action to guide the visitors to the next step, whether exploring your portfolio, reading about your story, or getting in touch. Next is the about page. It should contain information about your professional journey and what sets you apart from the others in the field. Oh, and remember to include a picture of yourself to add a personal touch and connect better with potential clients. Another important section is the portfolio page. Display your best projects, past achievements and client testimonials to encourage prospective customers to work with you. And last but not least is your contact page. Make it easy for potential clients to reach out by providing multiple contact details. This includes your email address, phone number, and social media accounts. Also consider adding a frequently asked questions section to address common questions and save time in your communications. If you want to customize your portfolio site further, we have an in-depth video on the topic, so make sure to check it out. No matter how impressive your skills are, they only be worthwhile if potential clients know about you. To effectively market your services, you first need to identify your ideal clients. Understanding their needs, preferences, and pain points will allow you to tailor your services and marketing efforts to attract them. Next, establish yourself as an industry expert by creating valuable content like blog posts, videos, and infographics. You can also use social media platforms like LinkedIn. LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram to show your work, share your thoughts on industry trends, and engage with your followers. Attending industry events or webinars as a guest speaker also helps your personal branding. It's the perfect opportunity to connect with potential clients and web professionals. After having a considerable following, sign up for freelance platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, and TopTal. Use professional profile picture, include a link to your portfolio website, and price your services competitively to increase your chances of getting hired. Remember, marketing is not a one-time effort but an ongoing process. Keep trying different strategies until you find the perfect suit. When your business starts to grow and you have several clients, things may get a bit overwhelming at first. Since you are running a one-person show, you have limited capacity to handle various tasks at once. This is where hosting your pro panel can help. With ProPanel, you'll be able to host client websites and manage them hassle-free. This tool frees up your time, allowing you to focus on expanding your business and earning more revenue. This tool frees up your time, allowing you to focus on expanding your business and earning more revenue. Let me show you how the panel works. Access your HPanel account and navigate to ProPanel. To add new clients, go to Clients on the left menu and click Add New Client. Here you can add a first-time client or an existing hosting user. Either way, enter your client's email address, tick the checkbox, and press Add Client. 
If your client is completely new to Hostinger, you will need to choose a hosting plan on their behalf. After that, select the plan duration and hit Add to Cart. Then click Send Cart to Client and our system will automatically send the purchase link to their inbox. To check your client's status, head to Clients. If the status is active, the client has completed the purchase and granted complete access to you. In contrast, pending confirmation indicates that your customer has yet to grant their account access. Managing and monitoring your client's websites can also be easily done from the website section. Here you can see each site's performance score and whether the SSL certificate, malware scanner and automated backups are active. If your clients use WordPress, you can also monitor available updates and potential vulnerabilities from plugins and themes. More importantly, you can access your clients' HPanel accounts to manage their websites or perform security checks. To do so, click Manage next to your desired client account. Want to know what more can you do with Hosting Pro Panel? Check out our comprehensive video guide. So now, are you ready to start your journey as a freelance web developer? If so, subscribe to Hosting Your Academy as we have more marketing and website development tips videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.